why go Godot and not use Unity? Let's compare one crowd favorite and one growing phenomenon to help you get started on your game development journey. But before we get into which game engine is better, what exactly is a game engine? Well, a game engine is like a toolbox for game devs, including audio, graphics, physics, animation, and other tools, all in one handy location. They offer efficiency by speeding up development and providing ready-made components and tools, allowing you to focus on the design of your game. They offer accessibility with easy-to-use interfaces and visual scripting, making it simple for beginners to get started. They also offer coffee cost effectiveness. Many engines are either free or affordable, which is great news for beginners, hobbyists, and indie developers alike. Cross-platform development engines allow you to develop once and deploy across multiple platforms, PC, consoles, Mac, mobiles, you name it. Community and support. Popular engines have large communities offering forums, tutorials, assets, and plugins, making your job as a game dev a lot easier. So now we know what a game engine is and why we might want to use one, why choose Godot? Let's start with the most significant factor, price. Godot is completely free with no hidden fees, no profit sharing, no licensing. Donations to their foundation is the only way that these absurdist theatre enthusiasts make any money for their engine. Unity is also free... Sort of. They offer a free personal tier, but for the full Unity experience, subscriptions start at $2,000 a year. Size matters. Godot's download is just 90 megabytes, which I was able to do in seconds, and I live literally in the middle of nowhere with just patchy Elon vibes to keep me connected to the world. Unity's installer, on the other hand, is 200 megabytes all on its own, and that expands to over 440 meg. This is just the installer. We haven't even got to the bloody editor yet. Godot, once expanded, is 220. 220, half of the Unity installer. So once we do put the Unity installer on our machine, sign up to that free personal tier and click the download button for the editor. What are we talking about? 7.6 gigabytes. I've got no room for that. I want to actually play games too, not have to delete every game on my machine so that I can get the software to try and learn how to make my own. Unity does, however, put the Unity in community. They have a massive following because they've been around a long time and they do make a really good product. It has maybe had a bit of a shaky few months after some big pricing changes down there at Unity, which sort of led to a few uh, Unity devs jumping ship and joining the dark side that is Godot. Godot's community is growing rapidly, and not only from former Unity devs. They have active forums, and YouTube is starting to fill up with lots and lots of really useful tutorials and tips to help you get started. So the Unity community can also hook you up with plugins and things, but many of them come at a cost. Whereas if you are in the Godot asset store right there in the editor, it is all free. Unity does use C Sharp for its scripting language, which is a great language with a long history and lots of support. Godot also offers C Sharp, but what I really like about Godot is that its own language, GD Script, is essentially Python. Why is this good news? Well, Python is super readable, which means that if you are trying to learn how to code whilst also learning how to use a, a game uh, engine, that Learning curve is just that much shallower because you can read the code and make sense of it even if you can't code fluently yet yourself. So for beginners, this is so much easier. So why Godot? Well, because it's free, it's compact, it's open source, it's got a growing supportive community with heaps of tutorials and assets and plugins. And I am by no means saying that Godot is the best. It just isn't. But it is the best for most of us. 
Now, if you disagree, I would love to hear from you about your experiences with different engines and why you chose the one that you did. But if you are interested in Godot and you want to get started, why not check out this video to help you create your first game in just over an hour. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.